I was watching a YouTube video by um, Michael Neal, who is fantastic, by the way, and really worth subscribing to. And he was talking about the three principles. And uh, the three principles is one of the concepts that I work with a lot in my work. And it's really the first thing that I teach all my clients about. And it's an amazing understanding. And when you understand the three principles, it really helps you to shift the way that you see the whole world. And that can shift pretty much everything for you. And one of the things that he was talking about was the principle of mind, as Sidney Banks called it, but Michael Neal called it the God principle. And it was really helpful to me to hear this particular talk about the God principle. And he was saying, you know, that there's, there's so much that we have no control over, but there's so much that we want to control. And the problem with wanting to control the stuff that you have no control over is it's really, really stressful. And in that it's really, really stressful, we have really, really stressful thinking about it, and the really, really stressful thinking about it creates really, really stressful feeling and really stressed out behavior around the things that we can't control. And he just said something that really amused me. He said, you know, it's hard enough trying to control the things that actually are under your control and are your responsibility. He said, what's the point of taking on all this stuff that's not under your control and not your responsibility and trying to own it and try and it's like just trying to hold on to it with everything you've got and for me it's like this picture of a cat riding a magic carpet and when the cat is afraid of not being in control of this ride it sticks its claw into the magic carpet and it's holding on for dear life and because the claws are in the magic carpet it's like you know it's got claws on its back so it's everywhere it's just riding around like a mad thing and it's bucking and it's, it's jumping around the place and the cat's holding on for dear life and in that moment the cat doesn't know any better it doesn't know that it's actually causing this uncomfortable ride by virtue of digging its fingers in and holding on with everything it's got. It doesn't know that if it could just pull its claws out and relax into the ride and let the ride take it in the way that it, it, it will, that it can have this really peaceful experience of the magic carpet ride. And when the cat takes its claws out of the magic carpet and just lies back and does a little cat stretch and cuddles up in the way only a cat can on the magic carpet, the carpet doesn't have to buck it and freak out and be riding like a wild thing, it can just take a smooth ride to the destination. And so the God principle was really useful for me in this understanding, this idea that when we hold on so tightly to the things that we can't control, we're actually causing an internal roller coaster ride for ourselves. The world still does what the world does. Our, our, our ups and downs, they still come and they still go, but the way that we experience it, and that's really what the three principles is all about, the way that we experience that ride is very, very different when we hold on, release some of the control of the things we can't control, and let it happen for us. So there's my story for today, the God principle. Let the ride happen. You don't have to control everything, and when you're trying to control everything, that's when the head goes a little bit pretty uncomfortable. So how about you let yourself off the hook a little bit and just control the things you can control and let go of those that you can't. Interesting idea. More from me, check out my YouTube channel or find me on www.cloud-9.co.za forward slash v1. Have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.